Hello guys, it's David from the Cali and Dress Squad, and to this week is week number one of the NFL season. Yes, we are going to get NFL football in 2020. It's going to look a little different. No fans in the stands, but hey, who cares? There's going to be football Thursday nights, Sunday nights, Monday nights, three nights of the week, baby. Yes! Alright, so like I did last week, um, last year, I predicted every game every week the whole season long so we're going to start off this long grind with week number one and we're going to start with the thursday night game which is this thursday it's going to be a good one it's a repeat of the afc championship game last year which was the texans versus the chiefs um yeah so who's going to win actually no i guess it was the yeah was it the afc championship game? i think it was um, the Texans versus the Chiefs. The Texans have Deshaun Watson. The Chiefs have, of course, Patty Mahomes and that dynamic offense. I'm going to pick a huge game for both quarterbacks. But Mahomes is going to have the better game. The Chiefs are going to win. I'm even going to predict the score. 36-27 is going to be the score. The Chiefs with the win. Uh, the second game, which would be Sunday, is between the New York Jets versus the Buffalo Bills. Hard one to pick. I'm like, you have Darnold on the Jets. You have Allen with the Bills. Um, both are coming off decent seasons, I guess. Allen at least made, Allen made the playoffs, so the Bills are probably um, a step higher. Plus, they picked up Stephon Diggs. Um, so my pick for this match is going to be the Buffalo Bills to win. Uh, the third game is the uh, Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the Pack to win this one. I think it's going when it's all said and done. Aaron Rodgers is still Aaron Rodgers. They did not need to draft Love, um, the other quarterback. Rodgers is gonna be there for a couple more years. Um, the next game is the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Washington Football Team. Um, yes, they do not have a last name, uh, which is a good thing because what they were called before is not appropriate or anything like that anymore. Um, so I'm happy that they've changed their name, but they're going to continue their losing streak, of course, with the Philadelphia Eagles winning this game. Now, the next one's a AFC Central um, game. It's uh, the Cleveland Browns versus the Baltimore Ravens. Um, it, this one's a tough one. I'm like, Lamar Jackson had an amazing Lamar Jackson had an amazing game, uh, season last year. My pick for this one is going to be the Baltimore Ravens to beat the Browns. The Browns are going to start off 0-1 for another consecutive season. Uh, but I think the Browns are going to do better. I think I will probably be picking the Browns more often than I did last year. So. Um, yeah, we'll just see how they go against one of the best teams in the league in the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, we have the Indianapolis Colts versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, this is going to be a good match. Um, the Jaguars actually are not that good. They've, they have, they released Fournette. They traded away their best defensive player. Um, they've been trading away their best defensive players for the last two or three years. So... The Colts are going to win this one with their new quarterback, uh, Phillip Rivers. Uh, the next match is the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Carolina Panthers. Panthers have a new quarterback in Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, they moved a, they moved away from Cam Newton. The Raiders still have um, Derek Carr in the mix as a starter, uh, but they've got a lot better in the draft with their offense. So. I'm going to pick Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs, um, their new rookie wide receivers. They're going to win, and Las Vegas will have their first victory in the NFL. Uh, the next game is the Chicago Bears versus the Detroit Lions. The Bears had um, a quarterback battle all, all spring, all summer, with uh, Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky. Mitch was the quarterback last year. Um, and they're going to be going up against Matthew Stafford and the Lions. And I'm like, Stafford ha has the worst luck with the Lions. Um, this one. I think the Lions are going to win this. 
I hope, I hope that Detroit has a better season this year than they have. Um, they deserve, they really do deserve it. I'm like, they've got, they've got a quarterback. They've got two really good wide receivers. They have a couple decent running backs. Let, let's hope the Lions can, uh, can pull out a victory. Uh, the next one's the Seattle Seahawks versus the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to pick the Seahawks in this one. Uh, it is going to be, it's, going to be a good match. Um, we got uh, Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf and um, good running backs, other good wide receivers versus the Falcons who have Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, of course. Uh, just think the Seahawks have a better defense and that's going to be the deciding factor. Uh, the next one's the Dolphins versus the Patriots. The Patriots are not who they were before. Um, you do not have Tom Brady in the Patriots uniform. Uh, the Dolphins still have Fitzpatrick in the um, Dolphins uniform, but they have a better quarterback in Tua uh, that's going to be backing up this game. So, yeah, so Tua will be backing up this game, but that doesn't mean that he won't be in this game. But I think if he does get in this game, it's going to be 21 nothing, and it's going to be already a blitz by the Patriots. So the Patriots are going to win this one. Uh, the first... Two picks of the draft, Chargers versus the Bengals. Now the Chargers picked, I uh, know, I guess they picked fourth, and they pit, and they got Herbert, and the Bengals picked first, and they got um, Joe. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of his last name. Uh, but they got the first round pick, which was a quarterback. Um, the Chargers are going to be starting Tyrod Taylor, so they're not going to be starting um, their rookie quarterback. So I'm going to pick the Chargers. They have. Chargers have a better running back in Austin Eckler. Uh, the best receiver on it, right? He just signed a huge deal. Um, Keenan Allen. The Chargers and the Chargers have a really good defense as well. So, the Chargers are going to beat the Bengals. Uh, the next game is the Arizona Cardinals versus the San Francisco 49ers. Very good matchup. This one is going to be a barn burner, I think. You know, two really good quarterbacks, two really good teams, two really good defenses. Um, Cardinals, Cardinals are up, are do, are doing this. Um, they were, they were one of the terrible teams for a couple of years, but they they are moving in the right direction. But the 49ers will win this game. Uh, the 49ers were the NFC um, representatives in the Super Bowl, and I think they're going to come back and have a good season. So the 49ers and maybe 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 make it back to the uh, to the uh, Super Bowl. So the Niners win that one. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Saints. This should be a really good game. You have the two goats. You have Tom Brady. You have Drew Brees. It's going to be both have offenses that will just blow the lights off. Um, I'm going to pick the Saints in this one. I think I think Drew Brees has something to. I think Brees has something to prove to Brady, and he's going to prove it on Sunday. Uh, Sunday, that Sunday night game is the Cowboys versus the Rams. Um, I'm going to pick the Cowboys in this one. Uh, I have to trust the Rams again. And right now, I don't trust the Rams. They lost Gurley. They're, um, they're uh, running back. Cowboys, they still have Dak Prescott. They have still have Ezekiel Elliott. They have, and they picked up um, a receiver in the first round of the draft. So right now, they have Gallup, Cooper, and Lamb. I'm like... Yeah, Cowboys, and they have a better defense too. So Cowboys will win this one. Uh, the Monday night game, there's two of them. Um, usually there's only one. Uh, Steelers versus the Giants. I'm going to pick the Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger's coming back. Uh, I think Steelers have more dynamic playmakers. Um, running backs, wide receivers. And they, I think they have the better defense as well. So I think the Steelers will win that one. And the last game that I picked for week number one, it's the Titans my team versus the Denver Broncos. I'm not going to pick the Titans every game, but they're actually a good team, and they just signed Jadovian Clowney. Um, so I am pretty hyped for the season, and I think the Titans are going to start off 1-0. Um, even though we lost Marcus Mariota, um, we got the guy that replaced him, and that is... Uh, Ryan Tannehill. So, and we still have Derrick Henry. We picked up another running back. We have a whack of receivers, and John o. Smith is finally going to get a chance to become the tight end that he needs to be. And their defense is top notch. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, if you have a top notch defense, you're probably gonna make the playoffs. So 
Yeah, so that is my picks. So my picks, Chiefs, Bills, Packers, Eagles, Ravens, Colts, Raiders, Lions, Seahawks, Patriots, Chargers, 49ers, Saints, Cowboys, Steelers, and Titans. Those are my picks for week number one. Um, let's see how I do, and we'll see week number two, what week number two is going to bring us. Um, yeah, I'm like, we might start doing some challenges with these. We'll see. We'll, you know, make them a little bit more exciting, a little bit more uh, keeping you guys on your feet. Um, yeah. All right, so remember to get subscribed to the Cali Enjoy Squad. Hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any of your videos. Smash that thumbs up button. Share with your family and friends. Until next time, peace out. And this will be, probably be a series that will be on Wednesdays. Um, I'll probably be releasing these Wednesday mornings um, for the nearby future. All right, guys, peace out.